Hi everybody. So I've been showing you how to create this little peg that's designed by Jess Davies, also known as Craft Lover 17 on Instagram. In this video, we're going to be creating the hat. I've mentioned the band count in part one, but just to review, these are the amount that you're going to need for the hat, which was already in the count in part one. So it's not an extra amount. You're also going to be using the nine E beads that you see here, and that is completely optional. You could even do that round in a different color if you prefer, make a little sun hat, add one of my little magic ring wildflowers or a tiny little bow. It's completely up to you. But this part is the hat, and you can just attach it. We're just gonna attach it to the top of the head. So I am gonna get started, and I do hope you enjoy. Before we get started, you want to thread nine e-beads or nine beads onto nine rubber bands of the hat color. So you can see that it's threaded on. Basically, you're just taking a piece of string. You wanna take your rubber band, put it on, grab the other end of your string, and this is completely optional. You're gonna put two ends of your string through your bead and slide it to the center. And you can do that eight more times. Start off with round one for the hat. We're gonna do six single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm gonna take my first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now you're just gonna pull your six bands through one at a time. So you're just gonna reach in, grab your band, bring it through, end on your hook, top loop over, and bring it to the side. Go back in for your second, bring it through, end on your hook, top two loops over now, and bring it to the side. Back in, band through, end on your hook, and top two loops over. Continue. Attach your stitch marker to the band that's around your hook, and then you can remove it off the loom. Move your bands around and you should have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. For round two, we're gonna increase to 12 stitches. So the pattern is two, 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 and two. You're doing an increase on each chain around. So going to your first chain, you're gonna do an increase by doing a single crochet with two bands in one chain. Back in. Repeat two bands in the next chain. Back in. Again, increase all the way till you get to your stitch marker. And the last band, or last chain. You should have 12 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round three, we're going to increase to 18 stitches. So the pattern is going to be a single crochet followed by an increase. One, two. One, two, one, two. Repeating this pattern six times. So you'll have 18 stitches when you're done. So let's go in our first chain with a single crochet, one band. Chain two is your increase. So add two bands, one at a time. Back in. Repeat, one, two. Back in, 
Continue, one, two. You wanna continue all the way till you get to your stitch marker. So you should have 18 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round four, we're gonna do 18 single crochets, grabbing the inside loops only. So the one little loop that's facing the center of each chain all the way around until you get to your stitch marker. So I have 18 bands here, nine and nine, 18. So don't start where it's getting pulled. Grab your first inside loop only and single crochet. Next inside loop only and continue until you get to your stitch marker. You have 18 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For rounds five and six, you're just gonna do 18 single crochets. So each pile has 18 bands. So at the end of each round, you should have 18 stitches. I'm gonna start you off with round five and then you're gonna pause the video and come back to me when you're done. So you wanna start off in your first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and do a single crochet. one band in each chain until you get to your stitch marker. I think I'm just going to do the whole round. So I have 18 stitches. When you're done round five, remove your stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook, and you wanna continue with round six. Don't go where it's getting pulled. You wanna go in your first chain. And continue going around. Come back to me when you're done. For round seven, I'm gonna do 18 single crochets, grabbing the outside loops only. So just the ones on the outside to each chain all the way around till you get to your stitch marker. Every other stitch, I'm gonna be adding the bead. 
So I have nine and nine is 18. So you're gonna do 18 single crochets. So don't go where it's getting pulled. You're grabbing your first outside loop only and single crochet. Next, outside loop only, adding the bead. And continue. And the last one. Remove your stitch marker. You should have 18 stitches. Add your stitch marker to the band that's around your hook. For round eight, we're gonna increase on each chain around. So two, 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 all the way around. So at the end of this round, you're gonna have 36 stitches and we're gonna repeat that 18 times. So what we're gonna do is go on our first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and you're just doing an increase two bands at one time, uh, separately. One band at a time. <laughs> so there's your increase. Next chain, increase. Back in that same chain to add your second band. Next chain, you're gonna continue this until you get to your stitch marker. You have 36 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. 
For round nine, our last round, what we're gonna do is 36 slip stitches around. You can do like a single crochet, but I'm gonna show you how to complete by doing a slip stitches to each chain. We're gonna do 36 of them. So I have nine, 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 and nine. It's 36 bands in total. The last band you're just gonna pull tighter to tie it closed. So I'm just gonna go on my first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and bringing the band through. All of the loops that are on your hook and slide, don't pull. The next chain, the same thing. Bring it through all of the loops that are on your hook, grab your end and slide. And you're gonna continue that all the way around until you get to your stitch marker. Through all of the loops, it gives it a completely different finish, and I don't think it's any slower. I like the way that this finishes like this. Something different. So just slip stitches to each chain, bringing it through all the loops, grabbing your end and sliding. And you can see how it just, it looks different, like a little straw hat. all the loops. I think you can pause the video now complete the rest of the chains here until you get to your stitch marker and pull the last band tighter. I will be coming back just for that one. So I'm at the last chain and again doing my slip stitch. Bring it through all the loops, grabbing the end. And this one you just wanna pull tighter just to tie it off. And this is what it looks like. Now you can remove your stitch marker. We're gonna hide the slip knot so what I'm gonna do is go through these little knots here. You're probably gonna have to go through three, but my first one I'm gonna go through and then go through that chain just to bring that slip knot through the center of that chain. It kind of avoids a little twist. Or twisting of the bands. Little knot, bring it through. Probably go again. So now you want to find where that slip knot is and have that part at the back. And what I'm going to do is for this one, I kind of grabbed, I'm going to use a single band just to tie it to the head. That's completely optional. You could have it removable. I realized when I grabbed the center or a center knot from the magic circle, it kind of gave it kind of like a cowboy look. So that part's up to you where you want to grab. I will be grabbing at the side of like one of the little knots right where it bends. But I'm gonna grab like the top of the head, a piece, like a chain on the head. I'm gonna use a single band just to tie it together. What I'm gonna do is find the back again. I'm gonna grab it from the front. So kind of like one of the little chains here. I'm gonna put my hook through, grab the band and do a slip knot. Grabbing the end, Oop, dropped it. And get back on my hook, grabbing the end and tying it off. And then I'm just gonna check to make sure that it's okay. And I am going to hide that slip knot by going through some of these chains here. Little knots again, maybe, and grabbing this end. And just trying to bring it through, maybe just once or twice. Ah, sorry about the beeping. And it's done. I hope you enjoyed.